Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Comic Sand Podcast. I'm your host, Dylan Jumps, and today I'm going to go over the second episode of Disney's new What If animated series. Uh, the episode is titled What If T'Challa Became a Star-Lord, and for anyone who may be confused by that title and doesn't understand the significance of it, uh, to give you some background, T'Challa is the name of Chadwick Boseman's character in the Marvel Universe, uh, or also the Black Panther. Um, T'Challa is the Black Panther's actual name. Uh, and then Star-Lord is the alias of Peter Quill, uh, who is Chris Pratt's character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And he was also the leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy, who wears the, uh, you know, the metal face mask and, and uses jet boots and whatnot. What I actually want to do differently in this episode versus last week's about uh, when uh, Peggy Carter became Captain Carter or a super soldier uh, instead of recapping the whole episode, I actually just want to lay the foundation and uh, pretty much just go into the premise of the episode. That way, if you do decide to watch the episode, which I think you should, it was a very good episode, uh, you'll you'll still have some surprises waiting for you, um, won't have anything spoiled, uh, and you'll, you'll have a little bit more knowledge of the characters going into the episode. So to start, I'm just going to talk about Star-Lord a little bit. Uh, Star-Lord, when he was a young child, was actually abducted by the Ravagers, um, the leader of which, uh, for this specific crew of Ravagers, is Yandu Udanta. Uh, and if you've seen Guardians of the Galaxy, either one of them, uh, you'll recognize him as the blue guy with a red mohawk who whistles and uh, controls a deadly arrow with that whistle. He is the captain of this crew of Ravagers, and think of Ravagers as pirates, but in space. Uh, the reason that they abducted Peter, or Star-Lord, was because Ego, uh, Star-Lord's birth dad, uh, who is actually a planet, it's pretty crazy. Uh, if you haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy 2, I recommend you watch it. Um, he actually hired Yondu to abduct Peter and bring him to him. Uh, Yondu ended up raising Peter as a Ravager, uh, and that's where Peter takes on the name Star-Lord. Once Star-Lord uh, grows into, you know, a, an adult, uh, he ends up splitting off from the Ravagers and, and forming the Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, which, you know, consists of Rocket, Groot, Gamora, Drax, um, and among others that, you know, come and go from, from the crew. And now to explain T'Challa a little bit, uh, I mean, pretty simply, he was born into a royal family of the in the country of Wakanda. Um, Wakanda is a secluded nation that is actually shielded from the outside world. You can't see it unless you walk through a, uh, I guess you could call it a force field, but it, it, it's an illusion as well as a force field. You can, you can assume that him and uh, Star-Lord are actually roughly the same age because what happens is uh, T'Challa as a young child is getting bored of living in Wakanda, um, secluded from the rest of the world. He wants to go on adventures. He wants to see, he wants to see everything. And uh, one day he was being a little bit adventurous and he goes outside of the force field, the illusion force field, and actually mistakenly gets abducted by Taserface and Kraglin, which are members of Yondu's team of Ravagers, and uh, instead of Peter Quill. Taserface and Kraglin bring T'Challa to Yondu. Uh, Yondu notices right away that this isn't the correct kid, uh, but he, he likes the kid's attitude. T'Challa wasn't really scared, and he was actually pretty... Uh, um, pretty interested in everything that was going on around him. And so what what happens is Yandu takes in T'Challa and raises him up, and T'Challa becomes Star-Lord. Uh, now, if you watch the episode, you'll see that he's a much more competent Star-Lord than Peter Quill ever was. 
Um, I mean, being raised in a royal family and kind of having those expectations put on him, it just put him in a different mind frame from, uh, you know, a, a different 10 year old boy who uh, really was just born into a regular life. What T'Challa does is kind of turn the Ravagers into his own Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, they're, they're not bad guys anymore. They're kind of like the Robin Hoods instead of pirates. And so that's really simply the, the premise of the story. T'Challa gets abducted rather than Peter Quill. He becomes Star-Lord. And, uh, you know, you're going to see a lot of characters that you recognize. You'll see, you know, you'll see Drax. Um, you'll see Nebula. Uh, you'll see Yondu, as I said. Uh, you'll even see Thanos. And uh, I'll leave it at that. But, you know, you may be a little bit surprised by Thanos in this, in this episode. Check it out. It's really cool. Uh, it's, it's funny, it's action packed and, uh, you won't be disappointed. And something else I do want to note is that most of these characters are voiced by the actual actors that played them in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as live action characters. Uh, and, and that goes for Chadwick Boseman as well. Uh, you know, the late great Chadwick Boseman, rest in peace. He, this will be the last time that we see him reprise his role as, uh, T'Challa. Uh, not necessarily Black Panther, because like I said, uh, that that storyline is is erased in this alternate reality. But uh, we do see him as T'Challa um, or hear him as T'Challa, I should say. So uh, that's another good reason to check out the episode. If you were a fan of the Black Panther movie, um, you know, it's it's an interesting take on what could have happened to T'Challa as a child. And uh, based on the ending of this episode, I think I think we're going to see some some pretty interesting stuff in, in more episodes to come. So uh, I'll say it like I always do. Like this video, comment on this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, all of that helps with, you know, the magical YouTube algorithms and uh, check out the episode. I, I think, you know, you'll enjoy it. Like I said on the last episode, don't be fooled by the fact that it is an animated show. Again, it is uh, rated TV 14, so just about the same as a PG-13 movie. Um, and it's, uh, it's well worth the watch. So uh, like always, enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching.